Okay. My good buddy Gord gave me this. He's gone electric. The dog. And he says that this doesn't run. Uh, he just says it doesn't prime. It's got gas in it. So it should prime. I'm gonna kick this off. Feels like it's not sucking on the gas side, eh? You almost wonder if, if the two hoses are mixed up. No, that should do it. Well, we have to get that gas out of there. But I want to do a pressure check on these hoses. Do you think I can get them out this way? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So I'm going to unplug this. Unplug that. Take the throttle off the uh, throttle from the cable from the throttle on the, the machine right there. Do you see that going up and down? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Right? Pull that off. Now I'm going to take this grommet out of here. If I can. Good. And all I'm going to do is uh, take this filter off of here. Stop! And I'm just going to pressure up. Both of these. There it is. So this is a great thing. It's a quarter inch to three thirty seconds uh, adapter. So when I close this off. Right. Now I want to. I'm going to do a vacuum test on these hoses, not a suction test, so I need some little adapters. Good. Now I've got to put a plug on one. Don't laugh at me, because I don't have the straight through guy. And another hemostat. Ah! All I'm doing is plugging one end, eh? Plug that, plug that, stick that into there, and then stick our gas line into here. And we're going to go to suction, and we're going to see how many. Good. Okay, that's, that's holding about 10 psi on suction. That'll suck fuel. Are you with me? I just learned today from Tom, from Vintage Engine Repairs out of, out of Australia. He says that uh, on, whoop, yeah. you have to divide by two when you're doing inches of mercury. There we go. So that's a good line. Now we're going to test this other line. Squeeze this little goober, and we'll do this one. This one's the return that takes the gas from the carburetor back to the tank. Oh. <laughs> Gotta switch plugs. Oh! Well. And it's good as well. Good. Okay. That's good to know. Now I guess we should get that gas out of there. See what kind of gas my buddy's using. This is the big test gourd. He's one of my happy hour friends. It doesn't look that good to me, but I use blue steel. Okay, I'm just going to take this gas filter and blow a little bit of air through it. Okay, so that part looks just fine. Now the carburetor itself, eh? My buddy had a CPAP machine. And they gave me all these little connectors that he uses for the air on the CPAC machine. 
and it's just been as handy as heck. Thanks, Bob. Rest your soul. Okay, the, I don't know where we started, but where we started from, but the diaphragm on this little carburetor tests okay. I went into the fuel side and uh, pressured it up, and it stayed at 10 pounds. And then I went suction to 20 inches of mercury, which was the same as 10 pounds, and it was good on the suction too. So you may have just a, a fuel flow or an adjustment issue, but by looking at the screws, they're quite mangled. So he's been adjusting it. Now we're just going to do some squirting. Oh. And we're going to give this guy a bath. So that should be the fuel inlet. Okay. Get that little screen out of there. Might wash it too. And I bet you my juice is ready. Take the gun with me. Alright guys, come with me. That's the parts I'm not washing. I may replace this uh, diaphragm here. Feels a little stiff. And we'll see what I got for parts on that. We're running at 65 degrees, and the heater will hold at 60. Oh no, just set it. There. So she's bubbling away there. Come back in a half an hour or so. Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, we're, we're finally getting back on the uh, steel FS45, I hope that's what it's called. Trimmer, strimmer, weed whacker, and I have a confession. I've ordered a carb that's not OEM. So we'll see how it goes. It looks really close, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, I'm not up to replacing crank seals on this. This carb cost me uh, about 25 Canadian, which would be about 18 US. And uh, it's one of those QC1s, I think it's called, with the uh, dual line and the vertical pump and the barrel type throttle. So let's just set you up here. It's a FS45. Here's here's the old carburetor. When pumping the uh, plastic bulb, it would not prime, or I'm sorry, it's not a prime. It wouldn't purge. So now we got the new carburetor and. I don't know. This is so hokey when they send you all this stuff, right? They even sent me... There's the gasket. That's nice. Air filter looks very good. Spark plug I won't use. And two bulbs plus the one that's on here. And another gasket for a different style input. I think I might use the original gasket. There she goes. But I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna just be careful. I'll be right. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Okay, I'm just gonna clean things up a little bit. Can you see? Yes. Oops. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I think I've cleaned the plug on this guy already. Okay. It definitely goes on like that. So we don't need either one of those. Oh, there's no barrel. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's the input. That's the input to the carburetor. It's hard to do upside down. Yeah, exact opposite, right? So there it is. We will attach 
So is it going to be like that? I think so, like that. So let's, do we use the cheapo? I think I'm going to try the new fuel line. What the heck? What I'm going to do is I'm going to test this to make sure it purges. Okay, so I've, had, I've dingle dongled that on there. And I'm going to get some two-stroke fuel. Put a little of that in here. Oh, let's fill it right up. So we're going to put it in the machine when we're done. Now, one of these should purge and one should shut. The filter's going to go on this end. We might as well stick it on there, eh? Wait, I'm going to use the new filter, too. Tom, from Australia, I know you're cringing right now because I'm using a, a foreign carburetor. Or... So now, here we go. We want this thing to suck and discharge off this short hole right there. Oh, that's a good shot. Okay, that's half the battle right there. So now this is going to go in the tank. Good, and then we're going to attach the grommet. Okay, so it's going to go on like that, like that, like that. The grommet onto there like that. I, I have to figure out how to do the throttle. There, there, there. There, there, there. There, and off there. Okay, I need the... No. There we are. Okay. So, on this one, the cable insert goes on this end, and the cable itself comes out of that smaller side. And we're there, right there. So now we need a, a gasket for the end, and that might be this guy. It's flat. Okay, let's just clean that up a little bit. I'm going to use the old gaskets, they're better quality. And put a little tiny bit of gas on there. There we go. Drop my light. But it helps. Okay, let's hook up our fuel lines. This one goes to the shorter one. There he is. How are you? I didn't know how to get to your back alley. I would have done that. That's okay. One moment, please. Just do an open heart surgery on this weed whacker here. There. One moment. So that was my friend. All right. We're going to just put the two bolts on the air cleaner. There has to be... Oh, okay. I'm talking to myself. I thought there was uh, little bushings on the nuts, but I guess there isn't. That's pretty fiddly. Need a load. Magnet.
Huh? I don't believe it. Okay. Not handle. Let's make sure. proper way. Clean up this over end over here so I don't kill anything. Oh, I'm starting to get some projects done. Okay, push these products to the side. This is the air cleaner. Oh, here's the new uh, Do we use the new air cleaner? Yeah, that one's pretty dirty. Let's use the new one. Get rid of the parts, 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 parts. Oh, so there's some good parts here. I just hope this works. Okay, two strokes heel. Whoa! Small tank. Didn't spill much, guys. Come on, give me a break. I'm not going to put the air filter on just yet, and the air filter cover. Put the gas over here. Cap on the gas tank. Wipe up the mess. And what kind of a screw do we have on that? Flat blade, right on. Okay, so off on, prime. Choke. Oh, more than mosquitoes are bad, eh? I'm just give it a. I don't know, these darn right handed people. Okay, we gotta change our tactic here. <clears throat> Should have put a little gas in the cylinder, but. needs just a touch more fuel. I know I know Tom has a special way. I'm gonna take it out a quarter of a turn and start it again. See if I have it's not really that warm yet either, right? It doesn't want to run any slower than that. It's an old machine, remember? Now, let's try the air filter. They act like a bit of a choke, eh? 
sorry. Hello guys, Bruce here. This is my new to me FS45 steel trimmer. It's a little huskier than my last one and heavier too. So just like my leaf blower, I've learned how to start this thing. They're all, each one's a little different. Uh, what I do is I go to choke, turn it on. It's not a rocker switch. Uh, now, I'll pump it anyway, it doesn't, doesn't have to be pumped. And I go one pull on choke, and then off choke, and away we go. And it takes about 30 seconds to warm up. But I thought I would just stick this into the end of the video because every two stroke has a kind of its own personality. But that Chinese carb that I put in there, like I ordered it for $24 online or something, uh, it's working out. And uh, thank you to Ken and Mick. They both said, Ken from Ken Small Engines and Mick. Small engines, the mower man, or something like that. Uh, they they've helped me out with it, and uh, they just said just use it a few times, and it'll come in, and it did. Just like it takes 30 seconds to warm up, and some of the other stuff goes right away, right? So every two-stroke is slightly different. Thank you for watching. Bye.